Hey you guys, it's Mo coming at you again. So I'm so excited because this video is um a a demo, well, a foundation tutorial and a full review on the Maybelline um New York Dream Nude Air Foam. Um, the Air Infuse Foundation that everyone has been raving about. I'm sure you've probably seen the reviews and tutorials on just a few of uh, ladies on YouTube, which I first saw with my girl Baby Tigger, um, Sean, and um, Lala Honey 06, Sandra, and of course my girl Ye Chanel. So, um, thanks again, Ye, for shouting me out and keeping everybody tuned on my channel for this review. I'm finally getting off the way, girl. So, yeah. So, um, I'm finally doing my review on the haul I did. I picked up, of course, again, the Maybelline Nude Air Foam. Um, my shade is 350 Caramel. And I'm going to do a quick demo on it. And then I'll do the full review afterwards. I decided to do the... Um, I was able to do a tutorial on you for you guys on this. Because I actually wore this two days straight. Um... I wore it two, day, two different days, and I wore it the whole day, and I'm so pleased, and I give this two thumbs up, but I'll get into that later. But let me get started. Um, again, 350 Caramel is my exact perfect shade. Um, always Caramel shade and Maybelline foundations, which is kind of weird, but it's great for me because I always know to get Caramel. So again, I'm 350 Caramel in the nude Maybelline Dream Nude Air Foam. So for all you ladies, 350 Caramel, get this. It's amazing. But let me get started. It says, before first application, it says to shake the can and apply a small amount of product to a tissue. I do not recommend using a tissue. If you want to, you can use a CD disc, um, a plate, um, but it's always best to use your hand, the back of your hand. So, yeah. Um, and... Of course, shake the can to get the um, foam infused by shaking it, of course, so it won't be watered, so the foam can come out nice and foamy. And, of course, it says to um, take small depth of product from hand and apply to face one section at a time, blending with your fingers using circular sh short circular motions. Now, let me tell you guys this before I apply this. Um... I don't want to make this too long. I try this with my fingers and it's messy. Sorry, I don't like using my fingers. Some those who would love to use your fingers. Um, I, my girl Ye told me that um she used she said on her view she used her fingers, which it came out much better, it wasn't streaky. Um, my skin is different, even though I'm normally dry as well as my girl Ye. Um the fingers what didn't work for me it didn't blend it like I wanted to so the brush was amazing for me it didn't streak or anything so to each his own everyone's skin is different everyone's face is different everyone's foundation application is different it's to what your liking is it doesn't apply to all so again I'm not using my fingers one it's too messy two and two it doesn't blend well enough for me so as you can see I already used this of course so that's why I'm able to do my full review take I take one big, nice size pump for um, each side of my face, like so, and I use my lovely Kirkland Signature um, cheek brush, and it's a very soft, flat top brush. I take that, and I have no concealer on, a clean, moisturized face, no foundation or anything. Um, I just did my eyebrows, so yeah. So, you want to take that. And I'd like to do one side of my face first. And like I said, I'll get into the um, the review of it on this video or another video. This is just a um, foundation tutorial. I'll probably do it on another video. I'm going to take another pump. Dab that with your brush and do the other side. Of course, you want to blend it down to your neck to make it not look so uneven underneath your lips. 
I take the rest and do this side of my face. Now, um, even though this is not the review video, full review video, I do want to say it is buildable, but not extremely buildable. You don't want to cake it on there. It's a little, I say it's a shade buildable, meaning you do get medium coverage. Lights, it is light to medium, but you can make it a little bit um, darker. I'll use one more pump for the, to finish off my cheeks and the top of my forehead. As you can see, it is very, very, very blended with my skin. It blends all the way in. And I like to just tap it and buff it out. Uh-oh. All the way down to my neck. Getting teary eye. I guess a bristle was in my eye. Huh? But yeah. Okay. And I like um, to just tap the product on my cheeks too as well. And I'm going to use one more small pump. You don't have to do this. I'm going to use one more small, small pump for my forehead. Because I didn't pump that much out. And I like to use the side of my brush. Um, for the top. And that's it, you guys. That's how I apply my Maybelline Nude Air Foam in 350 Caramel. That's how I apply it. It's a nice, nice coverage. Perfect. It's like the perfect shade I've ever had a foundation for me. It is beautiful. As you can see, this is 350 Caramel. And I am in love with this product. Um, I love it. As again, there was no foundation. There was no product on my face. There was no concealer on my face. I love it. So stay tuned for my full review on pros and cons of, the, um, of this foundation. And let me know what you guys think. Okay? And again, this is how it looks on me. So stay tuned for the um, review on the product since I already wore it. I can actually give y'all a full review of how I liked it, how long it lasts, and so on and so forth. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe.